Hi, now in this video, we will see how to use variables in your less files. Basically, if I talk about variables, these are the very important part of your less file because using them, you will be provide you will be able to provide the reusability of values. What does that mean? As I have discussed in the introduction part as well, like if you have used a blue color, let's say in your heading in some ID selectors or maybe in some classes in some paragraphs and later everywhere you want to change the color from blue to green. So if you will be writing a normal CSS, you will have to make the changes in each and every places. But if you are using variables, what you can do, you can just change the value of a variable and then later you can change, you can just pass the name of variable. So wherever you have used the variable, the values will be changed. All right. Like you will just change the value of a variable and wherever you have applied that variable, the same value will be used. So generally I'll have to make only change only at one place and all the places will be affected. So it will give you easily easy maintenance. Prefix by at the rate, whenever you will define a variable, you will put at the rate symbol before that. And for assigning the value, generally we do equals to, but here we will use the colon operator. So let's see the practical implementation of variables in your less file. So here in this less file, let's consider a scenario like here I have taken a heading and a paragraph which is containing color as light green. Now when you create a style sheet that will be taking this color as a literal string. All right. But in case if you want to change your whole heading as well as paragraph from light green to maybe some other color. So what you will have to do, whichever place, like as many as place you have put the same color, you will have to change it. All right. And that is the problem. So rather than doing that, what I can do, I can simply define a variable. Let's say I put it like heading. All right. The name of my uh, variable here. Let's give it a name called heading. All right. Heading para. Whatever as per your requirement. All right. And then I'll give it a value. Let's say I gave it a value called green. All right. So if I want to change the things of heading, li like if I want to change the color of heading and paragraph from anything to green, then what I'll have to do, I'll just pass the name of this variable. And that is the use. All right. So once let's say I have put it like heading para. All right. Let me just compile this file again. So here I'll say less C styles less styles CSS. All right. Yes to all. And here you can see color green, color green. All right. Let me execute that. You see it is green now. Now in case if I want to change the color from green to something else, maybe later, let's say I want to make it blue. So I'll just have to change it at one place. I'll just have to recompile it. All right. And when I'll come to browser, just refresh it and you see it is blue, right? Why? Because at both the places here in the CSS, the color got changed from green to blue. All right. So this is the benefit of using the variables in your less. All right. Because when you put the variables, you just need to change the value at one place and wherever you have used that particular variable, the values will be changed.